Is your skin looking a little wrinkly? Perhaps your neck has some loose skin you'd like to tighten. I'll be showing you several ways you can resurface your skin, including plasma ult therapy and thermocell technologies. Today on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps on giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today on the show we're talking about skin resurfacing. Now there are a lot of ways to resurface your skin, but today we'll be focusing on three of them. Plasma, Ol Therapy and Thermocell. All three of these methods are non-surgical and great options for tightening your skin. We're going to be breaking today's show into three segments. It's the first time we've done it like this, with the first segment focusing on plasma skin resurfacing. Now, first of all, let's talk to the doctor who performed all three of these procedures, Dr. Barson. How nice to see you again. It's great to be here. Okay, these three procedures that we're talking about today, what is the difference between them? Well, each one of them uses a different technology, mm -hmm. uh, but fundamental to all of them is heat, actually. Okay. First of all, let's talk about the plasma technique. How does this procedure work? Well, the, the machine generates a plasma gas. Mm -hmm. The machine takes nitrogen gas, like what's mostly yeah. in the air, uh, runs it through a chamber, hits it with a microwave, and turns it into a plasma that then is puffed against your skin. So what type of skin conditions is this good for? It can help with pigment, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, pores, uh, things of that nature. How does it work? It works by, by heating the skin mm. with this plasma gas. Uh, it will create a little crust on the skin that it becomes sort of like a natural bandage. Okay. It peels off in a couple of days, and then the skin is smoother and nicer underneath. Okay, do we see redness on the day? Yes, you can see some on the first day, and even after maybe up to a week. Are the results immediate after the old skin has fallen off? Yes and no. There okay. are some immediate effects you'll see right away, uh, pigment and things like that. But the collagen remodeling that takes yes. place with any heating procedure takes up to six months before your skin is totally healed. Well, since you've just explained all that, let's go and meet Diane and find out why she wanted this procedure and watch as she undergoes the plasma skin resurfacing. I'm here today to have plasma resurfacing around my eyes and my forehead. To begin this procedure, we numb the skin topically so if she should feel next to nothing. What we're hoping to accomplish through this procedure is to see a lift in her brow by tightening the forehead, pulling those brows up, and then treating some of this crepiness under her eyes and a few of these dark circles by thickening that collagen through there. Um, and then we'll treat her eyelid as well to help us get a little lift under the brow. Now we'll apply the numbing cream. And then we just cover it with a type of plastic to help drive that numbing fluid in faster. And now she's ready to cook for a minute. <laughs> well, as I've gotten older, the dark circles are showing up more and the lines are getting deeper. I want to look not as tired as I think I look. Oh, that's there. This makes you look like you got evil eyes because they're all black. Okay, here we go. So what we're doing is we're using plasma gas puffed against the skin to resurface and regenerate tissue using heat. And the benefit to this procedure versus other types of resurfacing is that the skin on the surface is left intact and it kind of serves as a band-aid for the skin below. I just want to see less of the deeper lines and less dark circles. You know, I want to look in the mirror and say, oh, that's the person that I am inside. And it's like, yeah, get that wrinkle, get it, get it, get it. Get it gone. 
I really think that these kind of procedures, they just enhance what you feel inside. I'm still gonna be me. I'm still gonna look like me. My face isn't gonna be frozen. My cheeks are still gonna go up when I smile. You know, so I, I'm all for it. You just wanna cover every inch of skin. I'm just envisioning the wrinkles melting off. Yes. And they are. So you can see the uniform bronzing of her skin mm -hmm. where we've separated that epidermis from the tissue below. And this is what's going to serve as the band-aid while she's healing and all of this will exfoliate off. Just leaving perfect, beautiful skin behind. Isn't that the best way? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's all finished. I'm just gonna protect that skin. Welcome back. We're going to talk to Dr. Barson about what we just saw. First, let's take a look at Diane's before and after pictures. So what are we looking at here, Dr. Barson, the before and after shots of her resurfacing? Well, you can kind of see that, uh, you know, before we have, you know, skin condition. Where, and afterwards, you know, there's improvement. Yes. Now, this is not like a facelift. Um, it's uh, a more subtle treatment. And uh, she's not totally finished because she's going to take about six months before everything is settled. Why this treatment for Diane and why was it best for her skin? Well, th there's a couple of things. First yep. of all, it has to do with the patient and what their desire is and their expectation. Uh, some people don't want a surgical procedure. They want something that's, that's more than just, you know, cosmetics or uh, uh, something minor like microdermabrasion. Mm -hmm. But they're not ready for something uh, big. And so this is kind of in the middle ground. Which I love the fact that you say that because so many people out there, Dr. Barson, feel that, that when they come to a plastic surgeon or a cosmetic surgeon, it's, it's all or nothing. They don't feel that they can have that middle ground. And this is what the laser resurfacing can do, isn't it? Yes, and plas laser, plasma, um, things like all therapy and thermocell, all of them fit in the category kind of in the middle ground. Mm. Now, most of these treatments last three or four years, but this is the great secret. You have to injure your skin every three to four years oh. with some significant technology. But if you do that, you keep renewing and regenerating and rejuvenating your skin mm. to the point where the appearance of aging just sort of stops. Why plasma for Diane's skin? Was it because it was benefiting her skin type the best? out of the other procedures that we're going to be talking about? No, no, it's because this is what you chose. Uh, what I tell people is, uh, what I like is if when they come in, they tell me what they want mm. at the end. Mm. They're here, they, what do you want to look like at the end? That, if they know what that is, then we can, we can tell them the path to get there. It's really important to listen to your, your doctor, to ask and hear what they're saying about what you need. Well, we can guide people. Yeah. We can tell them, we can give them the choices. A patient has to be educated to the point where they can make a decision that fits their needs, um, their anxieties, their mm. budget, whatever. Uh, they have to make the choice. A lot of people will come and say, well, what should I do? And I'll tell them, if you don't know what you want to do, don't do anything until you reach that point. Fantastic. I like that. Coming up after the break, we'll be back with Dr. Barson to talk about old therapy and watch as our patient Sue gets an old therapy neck lift. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates on the show and join the Younger You conversation. Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about plasma skin resurfacing with Dr. Barson. Now we're going to be talking about the procedure he performs called old therapy with our patient Sue. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous. You feel a little nervous, but that's okay. We're not going to bite you. You've had the pain. Yes. It's all been done. Dr. Barson, I want to talk to you about old therapy. What is it? Old therapy is a, a technology where we heat the skin. This does it with focused ultrasound. Now, okay. a lot of people have had ultrasound, you know, to see their babies and stuff like that, but this is more like what's in a physical therapy department. Oh. And what they've done is they've miniaturized two little generators that make these beams, and they come together underneath the skin, and where they hit each other, 
they create a heat spot, a heat dot. Okay. And then it creates another one, another one, another one. They go very fast. Uh, you make a whole little line of these underneath the skin. You can't see them. You can't, uh, you know, see from the outside. But what they do is they heat the skin underneath and cause this collagen to contract and to shrink. Could you feel something happening while he was doing that? Yes, I could. Really? What was the feeling like? Um, electric. It feels electric. Yeah. Does it feel tight when he's doing it immediately or is it over time that it was getting feeling tighter? It was about three days and I could feel, really? feel it getting tighter. Dr. Barson, why this procedure and not a neck lift on Sue? Well, it has to do with personal preference. Okay. You know, a lot of people are just not ready for something bigger. And some people are actually afraid that other people will see them and think that maybe they're vain because they've done this and they've done something more dramatic. Uh, everybody has a different comfort level with all of these procedures. And this is kind of a stealth procedure. Okay. You do it, nobody knows you've done it. Sue, why did you choose this procedure and not a neck lift? Well, I'd, I'd like the options before to, to see what helps. When you didn't, you weren't ready for the knife? No, I was not. Basically, it was like, you know, what can we do before then? Let's go and take a look at how your procedure went in your procedure rooms, Dr. Barson. I'm having old therapy on my neck. I went on a diet and I've lost quite a bit of weight and this has really shown up since the weight loss. So it'll be nice to have that taken care of. We're doing her full neck. We're not going to go up on her jawline just because that can create more pain and we don't really need to. And these are going to be our treatment areas where we're laying our lines of energy. We're going right there in the crease. And we go down to just above the collarbone, so we're not going to do down onto her chest at all. The first question is, is it going to hurt? <laughs> so, and they say, yeah, it's going to sting a little bit, so, okay. This is in scan mode. We're going to see what we're working with. Right there is her bone. And right there you can see a little bit of a line. And that mm -hmm. is where we want to lay our treatment lines. How's your pain level from 1 to 10? Five. Tough as nails. It's supposed to make it a challenge for me. Do I have to put it more drama? Yes. So now we're getting down onto her actual neck. So this is actually like a lifting procedure. So this will lift the skin as opposed to, you know, with the plasma that helps with wrinkles and pigmentation, things like this. This actually lifts. So this is kind of for those people that are kind of wanting a facelift but don't want to go that extreme. Since I noticed that I'm getting a little older, I do take better care of my skin. And, and you know, if, if something like this comes up, I really take the opportunity to get it done. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. That is the number one cause of aging. Doesn't matter if it's rain, shine, snow, sleet, hail. Sunscreen, 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 because those UV rays are still out there. One more. You can kind of see her neck's got a little bit of um, erythema, a little bit of redness happening. That's what we expect to see. You might as well as look as good as you can while you can. Just take advantage of these situations when you can afford it. And I'm excited to see the outcome. So your neck just got a good workout. Is that kind of what it feels like? Well, I didn't think this was so bad. Bless your heart. Okay, do I need to do anything with my neck? Just, just be you. Okay. Just wear it around like you normally do. Okay. So let's have a look at your before and after pictures up here, Sue and Dr. Barson. How long does it take before we get the full result of this procedure? With any of these collagen remodeling therapies, it usually takes 
up to six months to see all of the results. Mm. It takes that long for the skin to heal and change in the way that we want. We can't hurry that. So a patient comes in, are they in two hours before? What needs to be done for them? Really, we just have them take a, a little medication, something for anxiety and a pain pill. Okay. And then after about 30 minutes or so, then they're feeling pretty comfortable, and then we go ahead with the treatment. Okay. Now, Sue, earlier on you were saying that the procedure hurts a little bit, not a great deal. What's the level? So 10 being the worst of pain and one not, no pain at all. Were you around about a five? Around or? a five. Yeah. Yes. And what did your friends think when you told them you were going to be having this done? I didn't tell anybody. You told no one? No. Wow. Why is that? <laughs> I just wanted to see if there were real results. And, and, and see what they see thought about it. See if they noticed. It. And when you were looking in the mirror at home, can I ask you how old you are? I am 57. Okay. So at 57, you're looking in the mirror. And do you think you're looking older than what you should be? Do you feel that your neck was letting you down? What was the reason? for you to have this procedure? Yes, my neck was letting me down, mm. I feel, and just wanted a different look. So do you think there's a lot of pressure on women nowadays to actually have procedures done? Yes, I do. And what are your thoughts on that? I just don't think people want to grow old so quickly. Dr. Barson, are these results permanent for Sue? Well, there's really nothing permanent. I'm Technology's glad you said that because not even a facelift is permanent. You, no. could, you still need to go back in, in in many years to have a top up if you need to. Yes, everybody, <laughs> everybody continues to age. We can't mm. stop that. Mm. Uh, but what you can do is every three to four years, uh, technology like this mm. can just keep you look refreshed without having major surgery. Mm. Before we go to break, I'd like to show you a few things you should be doing that will leave your skin tighter. The first thing you need to do for your skin is exfoliate. Exfoliating does more than just freshen your skin by removing dead cells. It also stimulates your circulation so that your skin can get the nutrition and oxygen it needs to renew itself. The next one might seem obvious, but you need to make sure you drink plenty of water. Hydrated skin is healthy skin, so try to drink between six and eight glasses of water each day. Eating raw foods can be great for your skin, Fruits and vegetables in their raw form are very beneficial for your skin. They're packed with vitamins and minerals. Protecting your skin from the sun is very important. Sun damage can make your skin look older by causing it to lose its elasticity. Make sure you're always wearing 30 plus sunscreen. After the break, we'll be back in studio with Dr. Barson. This time talking about Thermacell skin tightening. Be sure to check out the Younger You website to watch full episodes of the show. Stay up to date on the Younger You Challenge and get useful tips and tricks to help you achieve the Younger You. Welcome back. We've already been talking to Dr. Barson about plasma skin resurfacing and old therapy. Now let's talk about Thermocell skin tightening. Dr. Barson, Thermocell, what is it? Thermocell is one of the uh, heating technologies we we talk about heating the skin causes mm. it to contract and to tighten up. This uses radio waves. Now, most common thing that people know of this is a microwave oven. So it uses ah. radio waves to, to heat. Now, this is not a microwave oven. You don't put your head in a box or anything like that. It's done with a little tip and it runs a, a radio wave through your skin and it heats it. Okay. And it's that heating that uh, makes a change. I love that. So, of course, we've got Mona joining us now as well. Mona, did you feel like you were put in a microwave? No, <laughs> no, but it was exactly. a little warm, it was a little warm. <laughs> so tell me, Dr. Barson, how does this differ from the other two procedures we've already talked about earlier on? The end result's the same. It's a heating technology. Okay. However, this one is much more gentle. You have to have a series of ah. treatments, and so pretty much anybody can go through this because it's more like just sitting there and it's more relaxing, uh, but you have to have more than one treatment. Okay, that was my next question. What can patients expect when they have the thermocell treatment? It's like the other treatments. It's not going to be finished yeah. for up to six months. Okay. So that has, that's how long it takes the skin to, to finish all of its remodeling and mm -hmm. its healing. Um, 
some people see uh, results more right at the beginning, and actually yeah. some people see results more at the end of the six months, which is kind of strange. And you were saying that earlier on when we were in break. You said yeah. sometimes it can work immediately, and then when patients are going through the six months, you can get even better results towards the end. Mona, would you have the procedure done again? Yes. You would? Yes. You want to maintain it? Yes. Can you feel a difference? I can see the difference. You can see. What about feel? Because when you have skin tightening, you, I know when I've had things done in the past, I can feel this tightness on my face. No, I haven't felt that. Really? No. Fascinating. So when you say you can see it, what do you see with I your eyes? I see that the spots that were bothering me around here and right here mm. are diminishing. I love that. I love that. Well, we're going to go and see what the procedure looks like being done on you in Dr. Barson's office. I am having Thermosil done today because I have some fine lines around my eyes and around my lips and around my smile area. The fine lines bother me really bad. Um, it's just something you get up every morning and just go, oh, I'm 53. And it's just getting to be 53 years old and then pretty soon you're going to be 63. So if you can take care of it now, it would be better for the future. With this treatment, what we're doing is we're using radio frequency to stimulate collagen and elastin in the skin. This procedure is called Thermocell, and a lot of people have heard of Thermage, which is an earlier technology of radio frequency. It's singular polar, and this is tripolar. The benefit to tripolar is it's less aggressive on the skin and it doesn't have to travel through your body to a returner pad to deliver the energy. So it's more versatile for patients. My girlfriend says, well, what's it gonna do to your face? Well, realistically, I educated myself as well and it's really just heat involved so it builds the collagen underneath your skin. So you won't see the results right away. It takes anywhere from three to six months. So she's feeling some vibration, some heat, as we're driving that radio frequency energy into the skin. There's no downtime with this procedure. In some patients, there's redness and splotchiness, but no social downtime. If there's something that you don't like about yourself, there's all the procedures that are out there. Let's face it, all the medical procedures now that they have has become more affordable. And so if it, there's something that bothers you, get it done. So basically our goal is to keep the energy focused in one area for as long as possible until the skin gets to a certain temperature. And once it reaches that temperature, it, you've damaged the skin to the point that you are going to see tissue rebuild and grow. Oh, my husband, he's very supportive. He's just, he just says, oh, I think you look fine. I said, you know what, I don't want to look fine. I want to look great. Because if you look great, you feel great. What I'm looking forward to the most is in the future, is because it takes time for this procedure to show, and I look in the mirror and I don't see those fine lines that I just make me just want to growl. Well, let's look at your before and after pictures here, Mona. Okay. So, Dr. Barson, the results here. What are you thinking when you see these before shots? Uh, these are about what we'd expect. Now, this is not going to be a procedure that's going to cause uh, tightening to the extent with like maybe surgery or, or yeah. a more invasive treatment yeah. or one with a lot more downtime. But this is, this is something for somebody that wants refreshment and uh, it looks better, but it's not obvious to anybody. And it has a, a very high tolerability index. People are not like afraid of this because it's not painful and hurtful. Mona, when you see those before pictures, what goes through your mind? I want to be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> has anyone noticed the change on you? Actually, my husband and my friends have. Really? Yes. What have they said? What are you doing to your skin? Really? Mm -hmm. So you could do an info commercial for Dr. Barson? I could. <laughs> and Mona, explain the sensation of the feeling of the procedure. What does it feel like when you're having it done? It would get warm, very warm. Uh, sometimes hot in certain little spots mm. and then it just would go away mm -hmm. and what wasn't were, very uncomfortable. What were your expectations? It has met my expectations. Really? Yes. It's so funny because some people say, yeah, I had it done but it doesn't really work that well. I love the fact that you it has exceeded. Yes. I love that. Good job. Good job. Do you feel more confident? 
do you feel like by having this procedure done that you're like, I can, you know, take on anything? Well, I think I feel like I look younger. I love that. I love that. Why did you decide to have the procedure done? So I could just leave the office and I could go back to work. It was not that invasive. I love that. And when Dr. Barson was telling you about the non-invasiveness of it with minimal downtime, did you feel like this is the way I need to go? This is what I need? At this time it works for my schedule. Would you think of having anything else? Oh, absolutely. What do you say to women out there that think cosmetic procedures are for people who are vain? I say if it makes you feel good, do it. I love that. Dr. Barson, what do you say to people when they say that to you? Uh, it's very important for women to feel good about themselves. If they don't feel good about themselves, then the, the world is not right. If they feel good about themselves, they're bulletproof. I like that, bulletproof. Do you feel bulletproof? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, you want to be a cheerleader now. That's, That's what you were right, talking about. See? How long before you go in and have another procedure? My guess is within the next month. Really? How soon can you have them step by step, Dr. Barson? Well, you can do these tre procedures once a week if you want you to go really? through the series. Wow. Well, we don't want her looking too. <laughs> Ask her. <laughs> I just like how she giggles. She just said nothing else. She just went, oh, I sort of do want to look too. Oh, you know. <laughs> There's nothing better than baby skin. <laughs> I love that. Well, we've covered a lot of material today. Plasma, old therapy and thermocell. These are all great options if you are looking to tighten and resurface your skin. For more information about the show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week. Next week on The Younger You, we'll meet Karen and watch as she has the fat sucked out of her stomach and injected into her face. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.